Welcome back to GM Builds. Today I'm working on 2014 Silverado Z71. It's my brother's truck. The uh, AC isn't working on it. These things are notorious for their lines getting uh, cracks and leaking. And even the condenser welds failing and having a leak there. There's several things you should check before you jump right into just pushing the valve there and see if you have coolant in the system or not. Check your fuses, check your relays. Make sure they're all functioning. The vehicle running and the AC on, come down. Look at your clutch, see if your clutch is spinning or not. Um, after you check all those, another simple way of finding out if you have coolant in the system or not is you come to your low side, which again will be the larger tube, and you get a little screwdriver or anything and lightly press on the Schrader valve in there. And if you get like this, there's no, just a little tiny hiss, you probably can even pick it up. You know the system's empty, you got a leak. So from there, it's time to move on. We're gonna inject the system with some dye, recharge it, and then uh, let it run for a couple days because it says it's a very slow leak that it has. And then we'll come back and check the entire system. We'll check the main points that are always failing with this particular system. But we'll give the whole system an overlook with uh, UV light and some goggles and try to find the leak. So we're going to be using this tool to inject dye into the system. You can also use it to inject oil into the system. Um, another way you can do it if you don't have this is the yellow line on your gauge set. You can just pour it right into there. I've done that in the past, but I found that it's, it gets kind of sloppy with your tool. The dye goes everywhere. It's just a little tiny bit of it, but the stuff gets everywhere. I found it rather annoying, so I'd rather just contain it to the tool itself. The majority of systems call for a quarter of an ounce. The tool is actually marked out with that. So with this, you unscrew the top of it. Set the tool to a quarter of an ounce. One fourth ounce. I don't know if you'll be able to pick that up. Not really. Go ahead and fill it up. Right there. Screw back on the top. All right, with the tool all loaded, we're gonna go ahead and attach it onto the low side port. And then just screw it down. And hang it upside down for a little bit. Let the rest of the fluid work in there. And that's it. All right, now that we've got the injection done, we're gonna go ahead and hook up the gauges. Take our high side port, plug it in. Low side. Take your low side. All right, the gauges are hooked up. We got the red for the high side, blue for the low side. Sorry if there's a little wind blowing around out here, but I'm telling you, it feels great because it's hot and humid here in Jersey. And GM builds does not like hot or humid. So anywho. Um, we're going to hook up the tank now. All right, here we go with the lines attached. I'm going to slowly turn this in, open up the Schrader valve. But you're just going to want to go in a little bit. It should be enough. You don't want to drive it in too hard. You don't want to uh, damage that valve. All right, we got our Freon on the scale. Hooked up to our gauge. Go ahead and purge the air in the line. Good to go. 
All right, we're gonna open up the low side port and let the Freon in. At the same time, oh, just throw the compressor, click on. At the same time, I'm watching my scale. So I put in the exact amount, which is I think is 0.6 kilograms. So for my scale, that'll be 10.303. And we're there. Shut the gauge off. All right, with the truck running, our pressures are at low sides about 40, high sides about 240, 245, around there, which puts it right in range. For the temperature out here, it's about 90. Um, the vehicle should be running at 2,000 RPM to get the accurate. But, you know, I'm just topping off the system right now. We're just refilling up the dye to diagnose where it's actually leaking. So there'll be a follow-up video for when we re redo the system after the repair. Hope you found this video helpful or interesting. If so, give it a like, subscribe. Uh, we'll be back with the full repair video after we find out where it's leaking. Um, until then, take it easy.